Yeah. What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about two brand new cereals from Kellogg's, Ryan's World Cereal and Elf on the Shelf Cereal. Now you should be able to find both of these at either Walmart or Target. That's where I found these boxes. So let's start with Ryan's World Cereal. Now, I got to be honest, I had no idea what this was when I saw it, so I had to go online and do some research. So as I'm sure you know, this Ryan's World is an insanely popular YouTube channel where this young kid, Ryan, plays with and reviews toys. The channel has something like 22 million subscribers, so I'm sure the parents make lots of money exploiting, I mean, sorry, sharing their son's reactions to all these toys, which I would say is a really weird YouTube channel, but then again, I have 200 videos of me sitting here talking to you about cereal, so I can't really judge. Now this cereal is a collaboration between Kellogg's and Pocket Watch, as you can see here. As far as I can tell, Pocket Watch is a digital media company that markets YouTube and new media stars and helps them make even more money by cynically creating tie-in brands of different opportunities, just like this cereal here. Now, as you can see on the box here, it says this stuff is Ryan's World Cereal, and then underneath it says Red Titans Vanilla. So here's what I'm gonna assume, cause I'm not gonna do any more research about this Ryan kid, but I imagine that Red Titan is this guy here, and that's Ryan's alter ego, a superhero-like character, and these are probably all his friends. I'm sure they made cartoons and all types of merchandising opportunities around, Red Titan and all his friends here. I don't really know, and honestly, I don't really care. I'm clearly not the audience for this YouTube channel or this cereal. But let's take a look at the back of the box. Okay, so it looks like Ryan has a video game too called Race with Ryan. Jeez, I mean, good for him and his family, I guess, but man, YouTube really needs to crack down on marketing this stuff to kids. Anyway, you can unlock a rare combo panda racer by uploading your receipt of this cereal. Cool, definitely won't be doing that. All right, let's open this stuff up and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Ryan's World cereal looks like. It's just red and yellow colored loops. There's no marshmallows or anything in here. It's really uninspired. They're essentially just red and yellow fruit loops, but with different flavoring. All right, let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Yeah, so it's just a bland vanilla taste. Nothing special here, nothing unique, nothing you haven't had before. I can't in good faith recommend this stuff. I mean, if you have a child who's obsessed with Ryan's World, then obviously you're gonna have to buy this cereal. But at the end of the day, it's really not that good. I mean, whether it's Baby Shark cereal or Peep cereal or Catacorn cereal, all these Kellogg's collaborations are just kind of lame, cynical cash grabs to get kids to buy new cereals that are just rehashes of their old cereals. And look, I know I knock Kellogg's about this a lot, but it's only because I really love Kellogg's cereals. I mean, as Tony the Tiger would say, they're great. It's just that when they do these licensing deals, they could use a little more creativity and effort. Which brings us to our next cereal. And that's Kellogg's new Elf on the Shelf cereal. Now this brand I'm actually aware of and I didn't have to Google it, though I didn't grow up with Elf on a Shelf. This phenomenon started around 2005 when I think the first Elf on the Shelf book came out. And I think it came with the Elf that you move around on different shelves or locations in your house from Thanksgiving to Christmas. I'm actually not sure that's even right. Like I said, I never grew up with Elf on a Shelf, so please don't quote me on that. I do have a leprechaun on a ledge here though. Now, at least this licensing deal makes a little more sense for the holiday season, so I don't fault Kellogg's for that. Let's take a closer look at the box. You can see up here in the corner, it says it's the official cereal of the North Pole, which makes me wonder if they make this stuff up in the North Pole as well. Do you think Santa has these elves make this cereal along with their countless other jobs? They definitely need to unionize up there. I feel like the elves get a raw deal. Now, as you can see on the front of the box, the full title of this is the Elf on the Shelf, A Christmas Tradition, which, eh. I mean, I guess it is a tradition. It's been going on since 2005. That's long enough to qualify it as a tradition. And as you can see on the front, it says the cereal is sugar cookie cereal with marshmallows. So at least Kellogg's is trying a little something different in regards to flavor. I mean, it's not gonna be a match for General Mills sugar cookie toast crunch, but at least it's a move in the right direction. It looks like the cereal is just red and green stars with some golden glitter on them and then some marshmallows mixed in. Again, kudos to Kellogg's for not just making this a clone of one of their other cereals, I mean, it's kind of a clone of that General Mills Mermaid cereal, but that wasn't the first star-shaped cereal anyway. All right, let's take a look at the back of the box. So there's a little story here about Miss Claw's sweet shop up in the North Pole and how she uses a machine to make this elf on the shelf cereal. So I guess we have our answer about who makes this stuff. It's Miss Claus and her machine, not the hard labor of the elves. That's good news. And apparently Miss Claw's sweet shop makes other goodies too, because if you scan the QR code on the side of this box, it takes you to the Elf on the Shelf website where you can see they have fruit snacks and Pop-Tart crisps as well. I don't think I'll be trying either of those, but if you do, let me know how they are. All right, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Elf on the Shelf, a Christmas tradition sugar cookie cereal with marshmallows looks like. So you can see what the star pieces look like here. They're not really covered in glitter like the picture would have you believe, more like a few specks here and there. 
and there are very, very few marshmallows in this stuff. That's really the biggest takeaway for me. If you're gonna have marshmallows in your cereal, have marshmallows in your cereal. You gotta have a good ratio of marbits in there or you might as well not have them at all. All right, let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Hmm, all right, I don't really know how to describe this one. It's got that artificial sugar cookie flavor to it. I mean, it kind of tastes like sugar cookies. There's a vanilla flavor there and some cookie or cake batter flavor as well. It's got that rich buttery flavor to it, but again, it's not up there with General Mills Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch. And the Marbits are so few and far between that they don't really add anything to the cereal. Look, it's not bad. It's definitely better and more inventive than a dozen other of Kellogg's licensed cereals. And if you're in the Christmas spirit already, which in my opinion is still way too early, well, by all means, go pick up a box of this stuff. Also, FYI, this cereal is pretty sweet. There's something like 15 grams of sugar per serving, but it's no big deal because if you get cavities from eating this cereal, you can always have the elves hook you up with free dental work. You know all elves are dentists, right? Did you never watch Rudolph? I'd like to be a, a dentist. Now lastly, there is another cereal that should be coming out alongside these two that we covered today. And that one's called Llama Loops, though I haven't seen it on shelves yet. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna cover that one when it comes out because it's just another Catacorn clone with berry flavored loops. Yeah, you can definitely miss me with that one, Kellogg's. All right, so that's gonna do it for these two new Kellogg's cereal, Ryan's World and Elf on a Shelf. Head out to Walmart and Target and pick these up if you want a box. And if you don't want a box, well, I understand and I sympathize with you. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. What about B on my knee for a new Christmas tradition? Cereal time. Cereal, cereal.